Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as The Pop Air. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review on this foundation right here. So this foundation is by Too Faced. This is their Born This Way foundation and this foundation has been out in the market for quite some time, but I've only recently persuaded myself to actually get it because, well, I thought I would treat myself. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you guys can keep up with my content and, well, my life on the internet. Okay, I'm just going to take a minute and talk about what my skin is like and what I expect from foundations and also the promises and then we'll just talk about, like, if it performs or not. Okay, so my skin, if you guys are new to the channel, I've got normal skin and I've got an oily T-zone. Like it tends to flare up really bad when I am quite dehydrated or quite stressed. I find that it's just super, super oily and I have to blot quite often throughout the day. So what do I look for in foundations? I look for great coverage. So medium, medium, full and beyond. Absolutely love that. I love a nice luminous finish. I don't particularly like matte finishes because I always find that they're so drying and if you don't prep your skin right it's just going to look crack um, and I also like foundations that fill in pores um, I do have a problem with pores um, with or without primer sometimes some foundations just emphasize pores so um, that's what I expect from foundations so now let's move on to the promises I'm just going to go on to Mecca's website so Mecca is essentially like Australia's version of Sephora even though we do have Sephora here now um, so the new Born This Way foundation costs 57 Australian dollars at the time of filming this video and let's see how many shades do they have? They have 18 shades in total here in Australia that's a that's a very very good shade range. Okay so this foundation claims a complexion perfecting foundation that provides natural looking medium to full coverage oil free hydrating makeup. So I have been using this foundation for a good month and a half now close to two months and I have to say I absolutely love this foundation. Let's talk about packaging. It's it's nice. It's definitely got that very um, Japanese princess um, style. Like I don't know like that's what I think when I see this packaging but it's really nice. It's not tacky. It's not cheap looking it doesn't feel cheap either like you can definitely tell that you're paying a good amount of money for your foundation so in terms of coverage so this says it's got medium full coverage and i do have to agree it is quite a decent amount of coverage it's definitely medium full so with this foundation it's definitely a buildable foundation it's medium to full i would normally wear two layers of this foundation i tend to use a beauty sponge when i use this i have used it with a brush like a buffing type brush and i just don't like the finish of it it just doesn't look like it sits well on the skin whereas a sponge just nicely presses it into the skin it looks very nice and flawless um but you can definitely control the coverage with this foundation you can definitely just put one layer on it gives you a nice medium coverage it still lets some of your imperfections shine through if you want to um, and obviously you can just build it up to maybe two or three layers I have built it up to three layers and I have not seen it go cakey even around the nose when I'm quite oily it doesn't look cakey Ugh. it does not look cakey so I think that's a good quality in a foundation so when brands say that their foundations are oil free I don't know what it means half the time like they use that term so loosely but does it make me look shiny does it make me look oily throughout the day no, like the shine, the oils that I see throughout the day is just like stuff that I would normally see from any foundation that I use. It's just, you know, a little bit shiny around here, um, but it doesn't break apart. So overall, what do I think about this foundation? I think it is a really, really good foundation. It is actually quite runny when I first got it. I thought it was going to be like a creamy foundation. It's definitely not as runny as, let, let's say, the... Um, Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay, but it's not as thick as the Tarte Amazonian Clay either, so it's got a nice consistency, it blends really well, um, it doesn't really have a scent, um, but yeah, it's, it's nice, it's buildable, and I really like the colour Sand, and I've also heard from some of my friends that do fake tan that they love the shade Sand as well, because it's definitely got that nice yellow undertone, and it works really well with fake tan. So, negatives about this foundation. Honestly, I don't have any negatives, really. If I had to be quite nitpicky, I would have to say the longevity of this foundation is probably not the best. Even with primer, with a setting powder, with a setting spray, this foundation tends to go quite funny around the six, seven hour mark. But again, it's not a long wearing foundation. It doesn't claim to have like really good coverage for like 24 hours. So I, I have nothing bad to say about this foundation. I really like it. In terms of like poor coverage, 
it's like any other foundation if you don't prep your skin well enough with primer it will show some of the pores but it doesn't emphasize it so i don't really have anything bad to say about this foundation it's a really good foundation so overall two thumbs up from me if you guys are interested in other foundation videos i will have them linked down in the description box down below if you guys haven't seen these other videos make sure you check them out as well and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up as well as well. I keep saying so many as well as in this video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!